Ryan Zinke was confirmed as Interior Secretary in March of 2017. He's the first Montanan to occupy a cabinet position. His agency controls one-fifth of the nation's land mass and has over 70,000 employees. The Secretary joined us in studio today to discuss a variety of issues, including the management of our national parks and about being a cabinet member eighth in line to the presidency. We're about $11.7 billion behind in maintenance repair of our park system because they are being loved to death, to your point. 300 million visitors through our park system last year, and the numbers are going to grow. Now, we need to catch up our infrastructure, and the President's budget is the largest investment in the history of this country uh, on our parks, our wildlife refuges, and Indian education. So let's catch up on infrastructure, and then let's look at the public lands around the park in a reorganization. There's no reason why a trailhead can't begin on a f adjacent Forest Service property or adjacent BLM and transition into the park and out. There's no reason why we can't use our public lands more effectively by making sure the trail systems connect. Uh, we can do a lot better. Well, in the order of uh, precedence, you, s you sit according to your seniority. And it's the President, uh, the Secretary of State, and then myself on the other side is Mattis. Uh, I fought with Mattis in Fallujah. Uh, I know John Kelly very well. And it was interesting the first time I'm, I'm looking at uh, Steve Mnuchin across the Secretary of Treasury, uh, immensely qualified. Uh, certainly understands the larger financial workings of monetary policies. You have Wilbur Ross, very successful people. And my thought was, why am I here? <laughs> because you, you look at the talent that he has amassed, in it, and he really has am amassed enormous talent, and talent in the area of which they're called to serve. We will have much more from Secretary Zinke for you tonight on our 10 o'clock show when we'll talk with him about the swirl of controversies around him and his office and his admiration for President Donald Trump.